never finished the room. They had a window there and a window there and we end up putting bigger windows and uh, there will be a log cabin, a log bed here. So we're really trying to lend the windows so that it will uh, let the outdoors in and not interfere and, and focus on the, the log cabin. Anyway, this is an addition onto this mobile home. So you can start with something small and add on. Like uh, the kitchen, which we're not finished with. I guess we could show you some later uh, as we go along. Down through here, this is uh, added on. And it's... Uh, a log cabin look. We put in a bathroom over here. They added on a bedroom. We put doors at the end uh, so that we'll have decks out there. And so there'll be, you can step out of your own particular bedroom and, and add on to a deck. And out back here, Zoom in, but you can see the big rocks there, and up that way is all bluff line. And down there is the War Eagle River, which again you can't you can just barely see it through the trees. Um, what this used to be was an open air sewer. Of course, that's all been eliminated. We'll fill all that in. Um, but the deck will be here all the way, pretty much all the way across. And uh, there'll be a trail to a waterfall over that way. Uh, this is the end of the mobile home again, right here. And we take it back. It used to be a bathroom and a shower. We turned that side into a closet. And this side right here, is a stackable washer and dryer area with the hookups. And this used to have a shower in it. And now we've got a bathtub shower mix. We're gonna put on an on-demand water heater, electric water heater. Gonna put in a window there and put these cabinets in. So it doesn't look anything like it did. Totally changed the cabinets was a window here, took that out, put a refrigerator there, and pantry here, but there seems to be a smaller door. Now, piece of wood to block it from, I guess bears maybe. Maybe if you go that way, you can show them the bluff line. And there's some discussion about putting lights up there so 
that we can shine lights at night on the bluff line. And we may do uh, different colors. And uh, there's an idea about put, putting the deck over this way. Up high with the staircase going up. And then you can look out over the whole area, the river, the, the trees, and still be up next to the, the bluffs and have lights on that. Um, but there's a bunch of trees that have been cut down on these big boulders on the side of the hill. And uh, we got to get those cleared off so that we can do all that. In the meantime, we're back to what we were doing. But this is just to let you know, somebody started off with a little 60s mobile home. And then over 20 years added to it. And then these people bought it teeter-tottered on the idea of tearing it all down and building a house here. They uh, decided that they would like to get this done and, and they felt like I was the guy to, to help them accomplish things. One of the things that I offer is you can change your mind. Change your mind as many times as you want to till you find what you like. So that's what we're doing here. Don't like this window. Would like to have the ability to sit at a dining area and see the bluff line. So this was a solid door and we put in this door. Again, we'll clear that tree out and see the bluff line when you sit in this area. So here we go, changing out a window in a very odd area. Now, First thing we'll do is they don't want this. They don't want drywall. We're going to use this, they say, as an accent wall. Oh, we put the flooring in a little bit early, but uh, it need, needed to get done. So, um, so we got to be careful that we don't drop nails and screws and scratch this floor, which is one of the things I don't like about this flooring is if you scratch it, which is one thirty-second of an inch, uh, you got no real option because you take it apart and it'll fall apart. Pieces that would lock together, they don't—they don't generally come apart properly. 